Welcome back to Get Connected. I'm your host, Con Jackson. Each week, we highlight the Health Beat segment of the week. And this week, we talk about lupus with a world-renowned doctor. Dr. Merrill joins us now. Welcome. Hi, Con. Hi, Dr. Merrill. It's great to have you with us. What is it about lupus that fascinates you so much? I, I think, you know, lupus is a really fascinating illness. Um, it's a disorder of the immune system, you know, so uh, there's a lot to study and there's a lot of interesting things to think about how, how the immune system works in health and disease. Well, it certainly sounds incredibly interesting. What, medically speaking, is happening to the immune system of someone with lupus? Well, what's actually happening is it's imbalanced. And so what this does is leads to, uh, instead of just getting rid of all the viruses and bacteria and toxic food particles that get in our body, it leads to inflammation in many different areas of the body. Uh, it can be in the joints, so you get arthritis. It can be in the skin, so you get different kinds of skin rashes. Um, it can be in the heart, the lungs, the kidneys, the brain. And it's very unpredictable from patient to patient or from time to time what's going to happen next. Well, it certainly sounds like quite an unpredictable disease. Are there any major triggers or genetic clues that are predisposed to someone with this disorder? There are a number of triggers, and it is thought to be uh, obviously something that you have to have the right genes to get. So here's what happens. The immune system is made up of millions of little proteins that work together. And you get some from your mom and some from your dad. And you know that, that either tells your immune system to be more or less active when it meets up with different kinds of invaders. So then you're born, and then these invaders start coming in your body. So it's sort of like the wrong immune system meets the wrong invader. No doubt about it. It sounds like an incredibly difficult internal struggle. Dr. Merrill, I know that there was a recent survey conducted about lupus patients. What advice would you give to new patients given these results? Well, I can tell you that, uh, you know, I want to talk today about this survey that we did among lupus patients, and it's going to lead to the piece of advice that I want to give patients, which is the name of your show is Get Connected, right? Exactly. <laughs> well, get connected uh, patients, families, and doctors, because that is what the survey found. It found that there's a huge disconnect. Uh, and so, for example, uh, caregivers, uh, do not believe that the patients are communicating openly and freely with the doctors to the extent that the patients think they are. Doctors are not thinking that the caregivers are giving support to the extent that the caregivers think they are. Uh, and patients are saying that they minimize their symptoms both to the caregivers and the doctors. It sounds like communication is key. Now that we know this, what are the three things that you would like to see changed? Three things. We need change with the caregivers, the patients, and the doctors. Let me start with the doctors. I am one, right? So sometimes I'm in my office, I'm busy, I'm getting phone calls, I'm having emergencies, I'm being told there are 10 patients waiting and they're all getting mad. Uh, I may not be giving patients the time and the space they need to talk to me and tell me everything. So I have to be sensitive to that. And then this, this underscores to me that I, obviously I, that doctors are not doing this perfectly. On the other hand, uh, people in families um, need to know that maybe the patient isn't telling them everything, uh, but maybe if they could just let that patient know how much they're valued, it could open up some more lines of communication and allow some of that negativity through. People might be scared to rock the boat in their relationships, but if the relationship is solid, that gets a little easier to do. Finally, the patients need to know that it's not a burden to a doctor to be told uh, your what, what we like to call your complaints. Um, we call it that, it's a medical term, and we wanna know what they are so that we can be better doctors. That's not a burden to us, that helps our self-esteem. And the caregivers, I think, I can't speak for caregivers, uh, but I was a mother once and I can tell you this, if somebody I love is in pain, I wanna know about it because I wanna try to be useful. So it's not a burden to me to know about it. Excellent advice for reform, and I'm glad patients have a strong ally in you. Where can my viewers go for more information on lupus? Very helpful website, usinlupus.com. Um, us like you and me, usinlupus.com. It's got on it uh, something called the Lupus Impact Tracker. Patients who may feel like they don't have much time in the doctor's office can actually use it as a tool to formulate uh, what's going on with them and be able to present it efficiently to the doctor. Uh, also, uh, Lupus.org is the Lupus Foundation of America, and they provide a lot of services. Doctor, thank you for the great resource. As we begin to wrap things up, what is something that you did in your career that dramatically impacted your success as a doctor? 
Oh, uh, it's very, very simple. I never let anybody in my entire life tell me I couldn't do something. Excellent advice, Dr. Merrill. Thank you so much for your passion, and again, thanks for joining us. Thank you for helping us get this message out. It certainly was great just speaking with Dr. Merrill, and I especially liked her advice that we should all never allow people to tell us what we can't achieve. Well, speaking about overcoming obstacles, next we speak with America Pie star Jason Biggs about how he did the impossible and reunited the cast of the famous movie series. Stay tuned. It's life imitating art, imitating life. And it's, it's been such a trip and such a pleasure to be back with everybody. And so glad you got to check out that clip. But listen, we've got plenty more going on here at Get Connected, our TV show. My friend and I are going to give you a glimpse of all the fun. So take it away. The sun shines bright as it moves across my face. I feel the light and everything is in its place. Ooh. I woke up feeling great. Well, join us and we'll get you in the know. Check us out at Get Connected at ConTV.com and be part of the movement. Yeah.